Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Jenny here. So you are currently watching my three-parter Simpson series. This is the exterior build, which is the first in the series. You can watch me do the full interior and also recreate the Sims family as the Sim Sims. Simpsons. Different format to my usual videos. Normally I do first cam with kind of a let's build style thing going on. But on Twitter, everyone voted that they would prefer to see this series as sort of a speed build with a voiceover. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm here to say hello, enjoy the video, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Well, welcome to my Simpsons build. I am ridiculously excited to finally be able to bring you my version of The Simpsons House. It's something that I have been wanting to do since I know that I knew that I wanted to set up a YouTube channel, which has been quite a few years. Um, and part of that content was absolutely always going to be building the iconic Simpsons house as a massive Simpsons fan and lover of The Simpsons, everything Simpsons, everything to do with The Simpsons. For me, it is so much fun to be able to bring this to you. So the way that I wanted to do this build was always going to be a slight version of it that was based more in reality than on the TV show. And the reason is doing my research for this is that it's something that's been done a lot. Obviously, it's something that's so iconic in pop culture that I'm pretty sure everybody, when they get The Sims, what they do is they build their own house and some kind of house building from like their favourite TV show or movie. And a lot of people's favourite TV show and, um, and I guess the Simpsons movie is The Simpsons. So here I am, finally doing it. You'll notice then with this build that I do try to make it, yeah, a lot more realistic. I use more realistic colour palettes. I use more realistic build style structures. Um, the one thing about The Sims that, um, sorry, the one thing that I know about The Simpsons is that from episode to episode, the structure of the house, the size of each room, where things are in the house, where doors are, where furniture is, changes according to what services the scene, which makes sense because it's an animated show, there's no physical set, and obviously when a show has been around for between 30, well, between 20 and 30 years, then things will change um to do with I guess fashion and in terms of space and how things are set out and animation style and all that kind of stuff um so when I was doing my research for this it became quite difficult to um well I did a lot of research I had a lot of screenshots working from actual footage from the tv show um footage from the film footage sorry not footage uh, artist renditions themselves what what other simmers have made in the sims 3 and sims 4 what i've seen um other artists do when they're drawing the house when they're creating the house in the different 3d mod models that people do i fully researched as much as possible and came up with the best kind of plan for what i thought was the most true to what i know of the simpsons house um and yeah the front of the house is different and like i was saying i wanted it to be based in reality I think it's important because the Simpsons house is such a box square that it can be so dull to look at and it doesn't make for exciting builds it doesn't make for something exciting because it's something that we've all seen before and I wanted to interpret it properly into how I style my Sims houses and how I create my Sims houses which means that I swap a window style here and there. I sort of played with the colours of things to do with the constraints of The Sims 4 anyway and the colour parts that we have, but I've tried to make things realistic based on the resources that I have in The Sims 4. Now, I have seen someone actually do this in The Sims 3 and I was really impressed with the interior. Again, making the point, a lot of these builds, Simpsons builds that I see um, in The Sims tend to look kind of... Uh, on the outside because they're just working with a box and the windows are so small compared to the massive rooms that everybody kind of makes these um that it tends not to do it justice in terms of an aesthetically pleasing build but on the inside if you get the inside rooms right then you can make especially in the sims 3 with all of these swatches a really beautiful and true to the show build and um, depending on what structure you're going to go for in terms of how the rooms are set up um but yeah so 
as you can see for now, I use brick. I do swap. Um, I go more true to the um, actual cartoon. I really wanted to make this hyper realistic. I have done a create a sim of the Simpsons family. We can't get yellow, bright yellow skin in the game. So I have made them more realistic and how they might look in real life. And that's the reason, my inspiration for doing the build a little bit more realistically. Which I think is fine. Um, I do go into this build in a second and I paint the rooms, I paint the walls and the floors. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted to do this build in two parts. And I didn't want to spend too much time worrying about what colour all the walls and floors were and where the doors were. When I got into decorating, I wanted to concentrate on the placement of objects. So that's the reason why I'm doing all of the kind of niggly bits now in terms of like little details that are iconic to the colour palettes and the way that the house is structured on the, in on the sort of outside area and how it kind of is structured on the inside. But I do make changes to the colours on the inside in the interior video. I also make changes to the room sizes and some of the room shapes as well. Because the one thing that is difficult with The Sims is um, making giant rooms and giant boxes with loads of space in it and the rooms looking empty. Whereas in The Simpsons uh, TV show, the rooms often don't look too big and empty unless it's stylistic. So I really wanted to make it feel like the show. Um, so yeah, so I've used a little bit of artistic license and you'll see, again, due to the resources that we have in The Sims 4. Uh, for example, Bart's Treehouse... I have used the shelves going up there to create the steps. I am aware that in Bat's Treehouse, it is, gem. I think most of the time, it's a trap door um, in the bottom that um, he uses to get in and out. But I actually preferred the aesthetic of a door and window. So I've gone for that because we, we know what Bat Simpson's Treehouse looks like. It's not entirely possible to create exactly, um, but we can definitely make it, I don't know, an artist rendition of Bat's Treehouse. Um, the other thing about this build that you'll notice is that if you're a Simpsons fan, there is a nice amount of Easter eggs for you to enjoy of my favourite episodes and iconic things that happen in the Sims series. Um, you'll notice a few towards the end of this video that I put in for the outdoor areas. Um, however, you the majority of the Easter eggs are all based inside, so you won't see that until um, you go into the next video, which will be the interior. My interior video and my creator sim video won't be up until a few days after this video. I really wanted to stagger this so that people could enjoy watching these. Um, but if you're watching it in the future, obviously you can binge the full series, which will be a three-parter. And that will consist of this video, it will be the interior design, and it will be the creator sim. I'm really interested actually in what you guys think of the idea of using bricks and using the more realistic materials, because at this point in the build, what, I'm, what you can see now, I'm still going for a, a more hyper-realistic look, trying to make it as real to as if this house was in real life, as if this was a real family's house, um, just based off what the Simpsons house looks like. But you'll see that once I start doing the floors and the walls in here, um, I start going for real wood colours and just decide straight up that it would be so much better to do the blue colours and the um, bright pinks. Um, I do actually change the pink to a brighter pink later on. Um, I just, it's so iconic, the colours of The Simpsons House, that I realised that if I made it too realistic, that it wouldn't be, be believable as The Simpsons House. Um, and the colours are so unrealistic as a palette, especially for these days. The bright pinks, the blues, everything about it, thats they're all made to contrast with the Simpsons in the scene, with the, the um, skin colour. Um, that, yeah, it, ju it didn't feel like the Simpsons house, and I really wanted it to feel iconic and nostalgic when you, when you saw what I was building. And with the Easter eggs, the furniture and stuff, it made way more sense to build it with the iconic colours and making it a bit more cartoony. Now, I haven't gone for, like, bit by perfectly the same, um, but I've tried to keep the most iconic stuff in there and just tried to, again, do that artist tip on The Simpsons House. I'm not an artist, I realise I'm just in The Sims, but I feel like there's an artistic licence allowed here just because of the constraints of the game. Um, but yeah, no, I think it ends up really well. I'm really excited to show you the inside. There are things that I would change 
Um, like, for example, the things that I've got to change um, that I've had the opportunity to change before I recorded everything. Like the, I do change the outside brick colour. I change the wallpaper colour, things like that. Um, there are things that I probably would change now looking back. But maybe another time. If you like the idea potentially actually of me doing a um, build based on Simpsons house, potentially renovating this house and making the um, Simpsons house as if it was a real house, as if it was um, actually created by an interior designer, as if it was actually made by someone who knows what they're doing. No offence to the Simpsons creative design team. Um, I forgive you that the original house was built, was drawn apparently a few minutes before, um, is it Matt Groening, Matt Groening, I can't ever pronounce his name, but apparently he designed the Simpsons family two minutes on, on his sketch pad before his pitch meeting and because his original idea for his cartoon, he changed his mind on last minute um, and he created these characters, um, called them in yellow pretty much and that was his pitch um, and, he, and he got the slot. So the um, entire build is quite... I don't know. It's it's aged kind of poorly in terms of actually when you look at the iconic episodes and you're trying to create something realistic in this game um, as a setting, as it works. It's fine, like in the TV show, but when you're trying to work with it, it's like, oh God, it's really, it, it's not a good palette. And because I'm a proper perfectionist, I'm like, oh, if it doesn't look good, then I'm not going to put it up. So I needed to make sure it looked somewhat good. So if you are interested in seeing me build the Simpsons house as if I had designed it or in a better designed um, way um, with the same furniture and same structure, just aesthetically more pleasing, then I'm totally up for doing that video for you guys. So just going to move into screenshots. So I've tried to match up these screenshots with um, stills from the cartoon. Uh, so we get the best idea of how I've built this. I have kept pretty true to the setup and layout of the house. The only thing you'll notice is the front is obviously we are lacking one bay window. This was on purpose. I don't think the two bay windows personally worked for this build due to the size of the rooms and the way the dining room looked. I thought the interior would look a little bit too big and boxy. So I've just changed things slightly. There's the iconic pool, Simpsons pool. Um, unfortunately, we can't get round pools, but I've done my best with this. Um, the tree house is there, the swing is there in approximately the right position for the Simpsons house. Patio is there. Um, I have put a barbecue and there is a lawn chair on the patio and we'll switch to that in just a second. So I've put this lawn chair and this um, barbecue on the patio simply because um, I have seen it multiple times in the TV series. Although now I can't find any reference photos for that. The only proper reference photo I could find was this one. So do forgive me. Um, but you get the idea. I, I generally stuck to uh, what I had seen in my experience of the, um, the wet garden. So that's the exterior done. I hope you can join me for the interior and the create sim videos. I hope you enjoyed this video today and seeing something a little bit different from me. If you have any other kind of pop culture references or anything that you would like to see me build, then I'm always up for a challenge. So please do comment below. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos from me in many different formats. If you like my opinion, great, because I've got them. If you like my builds, excellent. I've got loads of them. Create a sim, a couple of them. But thank you very much for tuning in today. It was an absolute pleasure and I will see you in the next video.